mirror mirror show to me the woman i will be and what did you see mama what did you see i saw the devil the devil mama the devil yes the devil i opened my eyes and there in the mirror smiling at me over my left shoulder was the devil Oh, my poor little mama. Were you frightened? Of course, my child. You can imagine. Hence, good little girls do not look into the mirror unless their mother tells them to. You must stop this naughty habit, darling, of admiring yourself in every mirror you pass. Let you see something frightful someday. But the devil, mama. What did he look like? Let me see. He has a scar on his cheek. A scar? A scar like Papa's? Yes, but the devil was scar of a sin, while your Papa was a scar of honor. And and what else about the devil, Mama? He had the mustache, like Papa's too. Oh no! Those of your Papa are dirty and gray, and smell horrible of tobacco. These of the devil were black and elegant. Very elegant. And did he speak to you, Mama? Yes, he spoke to me. Charms like your shave, no need for a candle, fair one. <laughs> But I remember you, you are Agida, whom I left nothing but a mere infant, and I came home to find a tremendous and splendid beauty, and I danced a waltz with you, but you did not give me the polka. Let me pass, but all I want is to share a polka with you, fair one. Let me pass, all I want is a dance, just one dance. Go to the devil, what a temper has my Serana. I am not you, Serana. Who's that? Someone I know? And why not? You do not know how I detest you, you fastidious young man. Now you jest, Serana. But clearly you do not despise yourself. You've come to admire yourself in the mirror, even in the middle of the night. I was not admiring myself, sir. What then? The moon, perhaps? Oh, you... Please don't cry, little one. Forgive me. I have said too much. Please forgive me. Let me go! No, Agueda. Not without your forgiveness. In your dreams, you brat. Let me go! Such I cannot do. Please forgive me. Never shall I forget this night. Never. You foolish boy, what are you doing standing there? Oh, Grandpa, you frightened me. What are you doing down here at this hour? Nothing, Grandpa. He told me I would see my wife if I look into the mirror. Wife? What wife? You got duped again, you little brat. But the boys at school told me that if I look into the mirror tonight, I would see her. And I said, and when I said, where mirror? Whose lover will I be? So why don't you put that candle down and let's talk about this. You want your wife already, eh? But did you know that there are wicked games? And wicked boys who play those games are in danger of horrors. The boys at school said I would see a witch instead. Exactly. A witch so horrible you'll die of fright. She will bewitch you. She will torture you. She will eat your heart and drink your blood. Come on, Grandpa. It's already... 1890, there are no witches anymore. Grow up already. And what if I told you that I myself have seen a witch? Really, Grandpa? Where? Right here. Right in this very room. Right there in that mirror. Then when was this? 
Not so long ago, I was a little bit older than you, but I was a vain fellow and thought I was very sick that night. I merely wanted to lie down and die, but I could not pass the doorway without stopping by the mirror and see what I looked like when dying. But when I poked my head in, what I saw in the mirror should not be me but... The witch? Exactly. She bewitched your grandpa? Bewitched me? Ha! <laughs> she did more than bewitch me. She bewitched me and tortured me. She ate my heart and drank my blood. Oh my, poor little grandpa. Why have you never told me? Was she horrible? Horrible? By the gods, no. She was beautiful. She was the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. Her eyes were somewhat like yours, but her hair were like black waters, and her golden shoulders were bare. My god, she was so enchanting, I should have known. I should have known back then, the dark fatal creature she was. Well, what a horrid mirror this is, Grandpa. Well, what makes you say that? Well, this had a witch in it, and Mama once told me that Grandpa and Grandpa told her that she saw the devil inside it. Do you think Grandma died because she was frightened? What a horrid mirror this is. Do you think we should get rid of it? Who knows, kid? Who knows? Well, anyway, time to get to bed. Okay, good night, Grandpa. Who knows indeed.